friends welcome back to my kitchen so today we have another simple recipe we're making we are making lentil stew and we'll go straight ahead to ingredients which are we have cooked lentils we're using red lentils in this recipe in our spices we have pink salt we have ginger powder we have ca um, cassava flour powder for thickening and we have cumin for vegetables we have potatoes we have green bell pepper you can use red and yellow if you can get easily we have red onions we have okra and coriander which we'll use to garnish our food now it's time to wash our vegetables and those that need to be chopped like potatoes and okra will chop them the onions will dice them together with the coriander and in a large skillet add your okra green bell pepper and your onion and add a little oil i i added one tablespoon and two tablespoons of water and stirred evenly then i allowed them to cook for two minutes after that i added the spices the cumin and the ginger together with the salt and the cassava flour you can use cornstarch you can use wheat flour to thicken to make a thick soup and you're good to go in many recipes people add coconut milk soy milk uh, but the reason i'm not using any milk in this recipe is that most milks have calcium and calcium interferes with absorption of iron which is very rich in lentils iron in lentils is 9.6 milligram per 100 gram so calcium has big particles that may inhibit the absorption of iron you want to check on that so that you can get maximum nutrients from the food that you cook also people may be wondering why i'm cooking my potatoes with the cover the cover of the potatoes are very rich in potassium the moment you thoroughly wash the the potatoes for so long and you remove the cover you're getting rid of the potassium which will, which will have been good for your heart and so and even for your cells so it's good to wash your potatoes well when fresh and use them at this point you are adding our um, lentils star and we'll add water to enable the potatoes to cook you can use carrots in this recipe i was not able to get them but they will ha they will add a nice um color to this um stew this stew you can eat it with brown rice with quinoa you can do it with um chapati basically any carbohydrate available even sweet potatoes very nice and sweet and you can eat to them so at this point we'll add our water which we already added and cover and allow to cook for five minutes so that the potatoes can cook and become soft and here we are done we have served our stew in our plate ready to be eaten remember when you eat eat to the glory of god remember to be a channel of light wherever you are the lord depends on you happy holidays see you next week bye